Hello, you are welcome. How to solve this nice algebra equation involving square roots? From what we have here, we can write this using this format when we have 1 over n root of a. Here, do the same thing as n root of 1 over a. And from what we are given here, it implies that we can write this as x root of 1 over 49 then minus also here we have x root of 1 over 7 which is now equals to 20 from here then also we can use the relation when we have n root of a here yeah, the same thing as a raised to the power 1 over n. Then applying this also, here we have 1 over 49. Now everything raised to the power 1 over x. Then minus also 1 over 7. Everything raised to the power 1 over x. Now equals to 20 from here. Then the same way. We can express 49 as 7 squared. So here we have 1 over 7 squared. Then raised to power 1 over x minus here 1 over 7 raised to power 1 over x. Then equal to 20 from here. Then in the same way here we can write this as 1 over 7 all squared. Then, which is raised to the power 1 over x, then minus 1 over 7, or raised to the power 1 over x, now equal to 20. And here, when we apply the law of indices, we can interchange this power from a raised to the power n, raised to the power n, do the same thing as a raised to the power n raised to power n and here it implies that here we have 1 over 7 raised to power 1 over x then or raised to power 2 minus 1 over 7 raised to power 1 over x then equals to 20 from here then we have 1 over 7 raised to power 1 over x common so let the letter u now represent 1 over 7 raised to power 1 over x then what we have here becomes u square minus u equals to 20 then let's take 20 to this side to form an equation and this gives us u square minus u minus 20 now equals to 0 from here then we can solve this quadratic equation factorization method here minus 20 which is the product and the written as minus 5 times 4 and here the sum which is minus 1 can also be written as minus 5 plus 4 so it implies that here we have u square minus 5 u plus 4 u then minus 20 now equals to 0 from here then we can group this together to two and factor which is common. U here come between these two. Then we have U left here. Then minus 5 left here. Then we have plus 4 common here. Then we have U minus 5 also left here. Equals to 0 here. Then we have U minus 5 common. Then into bracket U plus 4 left here. Then equals to 0. Then from here we have u minus 5 equals to 0. Or we have u plus 4 equals to 0 from here. Then here u is equals to 5. And on this side we have u equals to minus 4. Then let's recall. That represented u as 
1 over 7 raised to power x. That is, from here, we can equate this, and this will be 1 over 7 raised to power x, now equals to 5 on this side. And also here, we have 1 over 7 all raised to power x, now equals to minus 4. Then, what we have on this side is a positive, and here we also have a positive number, so here we can proceed with this. So here we have positive, here we have negative. So here, it will have no new solution, which is beyond defined here, so we reject this side. This side rejected. Then, on this side, when we take the log on both sides, this gives us log 1 over 7 raised to power 1 over x, please. We represented x as 1 over 7 raised to power 1 over x. Then, also raised to power 1 over x here. Sorry, please. So here equals to also, on this side we have log 5. Then, from here, applying the power law of logarithm, log m raised to the power of p, the same thing as p log m. Then, from here, it implies that we have 1 over x, then log 1 over 7, then equals to log 5. Then from here we can remove this 1 over x by multiplying both sides by x. So multiply this side by x and also this side by x. Then that means x cancel out here, which implies we have log 1 over 7 now equals to x multiplied by log 5. That's x log 5. Then from here, it's also same as x log 5 equals to log 7 raised to the power minus 1. From here, 1 over 7, same thing as 10 raised to the power minus 1. And also from here, we have x log 5 now equals to applying the power law minus 1 from here, the same thing as minus 1 log 7. And then divide both sides by log 5 now, this side by log 5, and this side by log 5. So that log 5 will cancel out here, and here we have x equals to minus log 7 over log 5. And applying the change of base here, then we have log a over log b. Here, this same thing as log a to be b and what we have here now is now x equals to minus log 7 and be five. here we have the solution to this given problem and thank you for watching don't forget this steps subscribe to my channel and turn on the notification bell see you next class and bye for now